hello all welcome to tech capture so in this video we are going to see what is container registry what is artifact registry and we'll see the difference between these two in a google cloud so if you are working with a containerized application you will always need a docker image to build your containerized application and in docker there is a separate registry hub where we can store all the docker images but if you want to store our docker images at a google cloud level then we need a container registry or artifact registry so this is nothing but a registry or you can say repository where you can store your container images okay so now you can see artifact registry also so this is you can say upgraded version of a container registry where you can store not only a docker images but the artifacts or your os level packages as well so we'll go to next slide and we'll see what is the difference and then i'll go to my cloud console as well and we'll show you the difference between these two okay so first we'll see about a container registry so this container registry only support a docker images we cannot store any artifacts or packages in container registry or we can not uh, create our own a repository or a customized repository in container registry okay so it does not support a regional repository so the repositories created are multi-regional so for us it will create one gcr.io or for europe it will create one eu.gcr.io so these are multi-regional and we cannot create a regional repositories like us central one us us4 kind of a regional repositories so that is a one limitation in container registry and again the container registry the images are stored in the storage bucket so anyone having access to the storage bucket will have access to the images and access cannot be controlled for a particular repository so if person is having access to bucket it will have access to all host and repositories in your project but these all limitations are overcome in artifact registry which is a upgraded version you can say for a container registry so it support images docker images as well as os level packages for your linux or debian packages or rpm packages again it will support your language packages for java python packages so this is the first limitation it overcome in artifact registry now it also support a regional repositories you can create a repository of your own regions you suppose us central one or us us4 and you can create you can choose your format you want repository for storing images or you want to store it for artifacts you can choose while creating your repository second here you can assign access on a particular repository as well so there is no concept like you can only need to assign access on a storage bucket but here you can control access on repository level as well okay so we'll just go to my container registry and artifact registry on google cloud console and we'll show you how it looks like on a console so first i'll open a container registry so it will ask us to enable api if i'm using for the first time and in second tab i'll open artifact registry as well i'll just create duplicate tab Okay, so I still not use this in my project so it is asking me to enable API so I'll just enable the API for this project and this is for container registry okay I need to enable billing so let me do it so it won't charge me anything if I have credit in my project so I'll just enable it okay API is enabled now just let me go back again to container registry and here let me open artifact registry so i might need to enable api for artifact registry as well because i didn't use artifact registry in this project so simply here it is recommending to use artifact registry because it has having advanced features so i'll simply click on a try artifact registry so it will open artifact registry for me and meanwhile you could see here you do not have any option to create any repositories here you just need to push images and it will create hostname for you 
so here you can just public access you don't have any registries to set up for this project so let me go to images and let me compare it this home page with artifact registry so enabling artifact registry api okay so now it is enabled you can just ignore this because here you could say if you enabled api recently it might take some time to propagate so you can ignore this error for now even though we don't have any repositories to list here but one thing you can see here here you have option to create your uh, repository so if i go and create repository in container registry you don't see that option i'll go here in here you could see the format you can store a uh, docker images or a maven npm python packages so these all options we have here so we can select any option for your repository suppose i'm selecting a docker uh, format for my uh, storing my docker images and i'll just give the name as a test repository or test repo okay and region i can go regional as well as multi-regional so i'll go with a us central one region i want to create in us central one and you can save your pricing as well by choosing the correct region based on the pricing and then i can simply create a artifact registry here for storing my docker images okay so i'm creating here here i'll directly try to push a docker image so this is a basic difference you could see that here you cannot create any repositories customized repositories for packages and uh, what you can say artifacts in container registry but in artifact registry you can create that let me refresh we have one repositories but it is not able to list because we recently yeah, we can list here so you can see one repo we created here and here we can store our docker images so now what we'll do uh, we'll create one web application okay and we'll create one docker file to create docker image for this simple web application on using this docker file we'll create one docker image which is our containerized image and we'll try to push our docker image to container registry also we'll try to push our docker image to artifact registry so we'll see this demo in our uh, next video so thank you for watching this video we'll see you in our next video